Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Walker Ford, sunny Clearwater, Florida. And right now we got two of the baddest Mustangs that are available from Ford. We're gonna compare the brand new 2019 Mustang GT Performance Pack Level 2 up against the 2019, lightly redesigned 2019 Shelby GT350. So let's talk a little bit about Mustang history. Mustang has been around since 1964 and a half, was unveiled at the World's Fair in New York City. Since then, it has stolen the hearts, the souls, and the minds of so many car enthusiasts and just people out there in the world. Everybody has a Mustang story. The great news is for 2019, Ford gives you a lot of choices when it comes to your high performance Mustang to fit everybody's tastes and everybody's budget. And that's really what it's all about because going back to the 1960s, you had that great performance for a great price and really late 60s and the early 70s was the peak of the performance. But now we're back 2019 with lots to talk about. So let's start with the performance pack level two. Most of it is gonna look like a Mustang GT until you get to right here. That front splitter has been extended. It's an extra piece all the way across from right to left. And that is what's gonna increase downforce on the front of this car. Now all Mustang GTs have the same gloss grill with your chrome pony behind the grill of the Performance Pack Level 2 increased radiator, oil cooler, transmission cooler. So lots of things that are gonna help keep your pony cool while you're doing your track days. Let's talk about the Shelby GT350. Featured and new for 2019, Velocity Blue. I like what they've done with the restyling of the front, just a little bit of nip and tuck to increase airflow at the front end of the business. The hood has been lowered to also increase airflow. Lurking behind the grill is going to be a new cutout to maximize everything for that large radiator. Because remember, underneath the hood of the Shelby GT350 is a 5.2 liter V8 known as the Voodoo. Underneath the hood of this Mustang GT is the Coyote 5 liter engine. But let's go ahead, we checked out the front. Let's go ahead and check out the sides of these two awesome Ford Performance products. All right, guys, time for the Performance Pack Level 2. We're gonna start with the hood. I love this magnetic gray. It sparkles so nicely in the Florida sun. The Mustang GT has dual heat extractors, one on each side. These are functional, gloss black. They look really great. Now, when we get to the side of the car, here's where more of that Performance Pack 2 magic is. These wheels, absolutely love them. 19 by 10 inch wheels up front. I love the, the gunmetal design. Another thing is they're wrapped in those super sticky Pilot Super Sport Cup 2 tires. This is a track specific tire. You can see the six piston Brembo calipers and you have a little bit over a 14 inch rotor behind that wheel. Now underneath the fenders, the Performance Pack 2 comes with the Magna Right suspension, specially track tuned, including the ABS has been recalibrated. You're also gonna find stiffer springs out front and in the back underneath the chassis. You're gonna have extra chassis um, adjustments to stiffen up and everything. It's a K brace down the whole middle of the car. Speaking of the going down the car, the side you got your 5.0 badge, such a traditional badge, 460 horsepower coming out of that Coyote. Love the lines, you know, when they came out with the 2015 Mustang. I really just love the design all the way as they brought it into 2019. That classic fastback style. I love the flared out fender. I want to focus on the rear because the wheels back here are even wider. 19 inch by 11 and a half. 305s at all four corners. So 305 is the width of the tire. You're looking at a very low profile, a very low 30 on the profile, that's gonna help give you some stick and some grip like you don't believe. They're almost like steamroller tires on this thing. As we come around the back, Performance Pack Level 2, you're gonna get this gloss black low deck lid spoiler, and then to wrap out the rear, you have the classic lines of all the Mustang GTs, no matter which one you're looking at, the rear diffuser, the quad tip exhaust, that GT logo in the center with the gloss black, just wide, low, and sexy. Underneath there, you're gonna have that differential 373 limited slip, gonna get the power to the ground. 
let's go ahead and check out that Shelby GT350 and see what they're all about. All right, guys, the car that has my heart, the GT350. You could see aluminum hood, aluminum fenders. This is a functional heat extractor, flat black, gonna get that hot air from out underneath the hood. It also increases the airflow. Like I pointed out earlier, the hood is lower. I love the body lines in the hood. So drop dead sexy. Remember, the front end of this car is actually wider than the front end of that Mustang GT. And you'll see it too because the GT's tires stick out because they have that larger, wider wheel and tire package. This, everything is hidden underneath and it looks great. As we come around the corner, you can see updated for 2019, gloss black wheel, 19 inch wheel. Love the look. Lurking behind and up front you have, these are 19 by nine and a half. Lurking behind, here's a big difference. You're going from a 14 inch rotor, this is a 15 and a half inch brake rotor. Dominoes would be jealous of this rotor. That's how big it is. Massive calipers. What's great about the rotors is not just the size, but also it's got an aluminum hat that's gonna cut down on your rotating mass. It's also gonna allow that steel rotor to cool a lot quicker than what's on the performance pack. Underneath the fenders, just like the performance pack two, magnet ride suspension has been updated for the GT350. And for the first time, it's got the same Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires. Now, one thing to be aware, just like on the Mustang GT over there, these tires, they're really grippy, but they don't wear very well. So that's only gonna last you about 10,000 miles on the street, but I promise you, the stick you get, I mean, I'm putting my nail into these tires and it's like, oh God, that's how sticky they are. Really drop dead gorgeous package on the Velocity Blue. As we come down the side, I'm gonna have Tom flip around the camera and show you just how wide the fender comes out. It's so wide, they put a heat extractor on the side there for aerodynamics. Tom is also gonna show you the back side of the tire there. Not much tread, very low tread on that is, is what it's all about to give you the grip. Same lines, everything from here on back, same lines. You got, we'll focus on the rear. So they're up front, you got 295s, out back 305. So a little smaller width of a tire up front than the performance pack, but same out back. You're gonna get four piston calipers out in the rear to help brake. Um, because remember, at the end of the day, it's about getting maximum braking and also engine performance. Here's the last piece of the puzzle. I love the new updated 2019 rear wing. One option you can get that this does not have is there is a handling package that comes with a gurney flap, a gurney strip that goes across the back. That is actually made to give you extra downforce. Even though it's such a subtle change, that subtle change at speed gives you more downforce. If you're wondering why the hell they call it the gurney flap, it's because of the mastermind, great racer, Dan Gurney. Dan Gurney, Gurney for president. That was the motto back when he was alive. He was that great of a guy. Love the black racing stripes, and I like the way for 2019, you got the gunmetal gray outlining both sides of those beautiful racing stripes. And when it comes to stripes, Ford does it the best because look, they drop down. Bloop, bloop. That's how it's supposed to work. On so many other brands, they stop up here, comes all the way down, upgraded rear diffuser. Lurking behind this diffuser that the Performance Pack 2 doesn't have is a diff cooler. The diff cooler is gonna help cool that center, uh, center differential. Same 373 gears, same limited slip. This has larger exhaust outlets and it's the adaptive exhaust. You can make them louder or quieter. I love the GT350 badge in the center and just the sheer width of this beast but let's go ahead pop the hoods and see what the heck we're looking at when it comes to these two performance mustangs all right guys the most important part of any ford product underneath the hood with the gt remember the performance pack 2 is a handling package it's meant to get you faster around a road course same five liter coyote engine just like any other mustang gt here at walker ford i hate that cover. I want to zonk this cover. I want to rip it off and throw it like a Frisbee right into the Gulf of Mexico. Well, maybe I don't want to do that because that's littering, but I don't like this engine cover. I do like the, the um, strut tower brace there with the Mustang GT logo. Nice touch, but it would have been nice just to have a little bit more horsepower, but this would be compared to Chevrolet's 1LE option. Underneath those shock uh, tower mounts, that's where you're going to have the Magna Ride suspension, the beefed up um, Shot, uh, springs, here's your ABS unit. That's been tweaked, special for the performance pack level two. Let's work our way to the GT350. So you have 
carbon fiber composite up front. That is the cut weight off the front of the car. And there she is, 5.2 liter. That is that Voodoo engine, 8,250 RPM, 526 horsepower, 495 foot-pounds of torque. I love the strut tower brace. Guess what? It's different than the one on the Performance Pack Level 2. It's beefier. It's going to keep that front end more solid as you're going through the turns. Underneath the shop, uh, shock tower mounts there, same Magna Ride, specially tuned for the GT350. I love the way it's got the names of the people that hand assembled this engine. So that's a major difference between this and the Coyote engine. Hand assembled, open air box, cone filter, maximum performance made it to that slick shifting Tremec six-speed transmission. But if you're ready, I'm ready for the best part besides driving them. Let's fire these Mustangs up. Right, guys we're inside the mustang gt performance pack level two if you're asking yourself joe we're comparing these two high performance fords what's the price on this one this one msrp is at forty four thousand dollars just so you know the performance pack level two option is a six thousand five hundred dollar option if you go performance pack level one on a mustang gt that's a four thousand dollar option so not a huge difference between the options, but still something to think about. Let's see what you get. Just like any other Mustang, you got the same door cards, the same door panel on the GT as you do the GT350. Where there's cloth on the GT, you have Alcantara on the GT350, and rightfully so. When you come into the dash area, I want to uh, zonk this logo here. I wish they would have said Performance Pack Level 2 with a chassis number. I think that that would have just been a nice extra touch. I do like the oil pressure and the vacuum gauges. You have a nice touch screen, show your AC, no navigation, no heated or AC seats. You have your silver controls, your toggle switches to go through your different modes, USB, 12 volt, and then here's your six speed transmission. This one is nice, but not as nice as the Tremec. Let's get real. Center console is harder plastic, Nice soft on the armrest. You do have some connectivity in there as well. And the good old fashioned e-brake. I'm six feet tall. I love the driving position. You could adjust the seat a lot of different ways, which is great. Also, you have your analog gauges. So you have analog speedometer, tachometer. We're really not gonna bring you over here because we've had plenty of Mustang videos here on Rady's Rides. Seats. I do like the seats. They are cloth. I would prefer leather or some other material like Alcantara and leather. But the cloth is very durable, and I like the design with the white contrast stitching. Very nicely done with the Mustang logo in the back portion. But why don't we go ahead, we checked out the inside of this one. Let's go ahead and check out the GT350. All right, guys, we're inside one of my dream cars, a car that I wish I could be rolling out of Walker Ford in right now. This is the 2019 Shelby GT350. If you're wondering, what's the price, Joe, with these changes and stuff? you're looking at $64,500 or so. Let's see what you get. So like I said, with the door panels, looks the same as the Mustang GT. The only difference is that gray Alcantara material with the white contrast stitching. I really do like that touch. As you go from the door panel to the dash, you have the same dual crowd dash. Here's what I was telling you about. Here's a nice badge for the GT350 with your chassis number there. New for 2019 as an option is the carbon fiber uh, that this has. It's 500 bucks. Nice price for something that looks really beautiful. This one also has the B&O Harman Kardon tech package. So you have navigation, all the uh, uses that you would want in an infotainment system. No heated or air conditioned seats or ventilated seats. You got the same toggle switches. If you ever wondered, hey Joe, why is there more black plastic in the GT350 than on the GT. It's because this track is this car is meant for the track and they don't want all these shiny bits. If they were all shiny to give you any type of glare. 
Here's the magic though. Love the shift lever, love the Tremec, six speed transmission, very smooth shifting. Do you hear that siren in the background? I think somebody thinks I'm gonna have a heart attack in this car because that's how much I love this car and the performance. Now what they did for 2019, went a little bit softer on the materials, brought the white contrast stitching up on the center console, good old fashioned e-brake, same armrest. What isn't different are these babies. Full Recaro, bottom and back. There's the Recaro logo, the GT50 uh, embroidery. I like the way they're not all black. They're gray with some wonderful pattern. And you know what? If you were afraid that these are gonna squeeze you like a vice grip, they're not. They feel great. Six feet tall. I have wide shoulders. I'm ready to rock and roll. Speaking of rock and rolling, come on over to the business end and I'll show you what's going on over here. All right, guys, business end. Here are the recalls. They're full manual. What are you going to do? I am going to zonk it though. I would like electric just to get every single position for everybody's body type, but I feel good exactly the way I am. Wonderful steering wheel. Different steering wheel than the GT. Flat bottom, a little bit of leather. Love the Alcantara. Love the strip up here to let you know where top dead center is. The crisscross contrast stitching, and there's the best logo ever. Here's a fun tip. Did you know that a South Korean engineer and designer was the one working for Ford back in the 60s that came up with this logo. Little fun fact, I thought that was wild when I learned about that. Now this has a lot more controls on it than the, GT, than the GT over there. You could go through your different modes, driving modes, you could change your suspension settings and steering sensitivity. So you do have the steering sensitivity over on that Mustang and you do have different driving modes but you don't have where you could adjust the actual dampening of the suspension has launch control and just that analog setup. No LED digital option for the GT350. You have to go GT500 when that comes out. But if you're ready, I'm ready for the best part. You know what we're gonna do, say it. Let's go for a ride. Hey guys, we're leaving Walker Ford, sunny Clearwater, Florida, and I'm in a 2019 Shelby GT350. That Voodoo engine on throttle. All the way up she just screams and screams and that is what she is made to do that flat plane crankshaft remember forged steel is there to give you that higher rpm availability that is something that was only made for the hyper exotics ford's first foray with a flat plane crank and they hit the nail on the head and that's why to me the GT350 is the sweet spot and such a special car because it's the only one available with the 5.2, 526 horsepower, 495 foot-pounds of torque. Like I said though, you're not gonna do nine second quarter mile times, but boy, get me on a road course and that's where you do the business. All right, guys, just doing a little roll around, build up some room in front of me, second gear. Front end sticks nice, go a little wide, come and hit your apex, third gear, roll on the throttle, and you are off. And watch that tachometer all the way up. Jesus. Ah. Yeah, that just happened. But anyways, this car, absolutely mind blowing. That's all I can say. Thank you, Walker Ford. Thank you, Weston Walker, Frank Walker, for allowing Radies Rides to take this car out and just have a little bit of excitement. Wonderful, wonderful. Do you see this? Do you see how it's gripping out of the turn? On throttle, the revs build. 6,000, 7,000. Wonderful. On Unbelievable! This car is a dream to drive. Absolute dream. And then remember, you have all the safety features, great ABS that's been tuned for the track. It's just, they did their homework. The Ford engineers did their homework. It's as simple as that. Here we go. Third gear, on the brakes, roll on throttle. You can just hold it all the way around, nice and easy, nice and gingerly hit your apex. the ripples the magna ride 
is like your own race engineer sitting on each corner of the car tuning the suspension so that you're getting the grip to the ground you're feeling good and you're getting ready for your next turn that's what this freaking car is all about it is unbelievable just got done with the gt350 we're now in the mustang gt performance pack level two we are gonna roll on from second gear nicely done you know that coyote engine still that quad cam engine revs out to 7500 rpm is it as high as the shelby no but it's still pretty damn close and it has a nice sound out the back but i'll be honest there's nothing like the Voodoo. I mean, if, if I was to sit here and say, hey, this car is just like the GT350, there's no difference, please call me a liar. Put that in the comments right now. But I'm not. So erase what you were going to say and put something else. But this Performance Pack 2, still a ton of fun. The Coyote, still a great, very flexible engine. This has the 6-speed, only comes in the 6-speed. Who knows? Maybe they may have the 10 speed for 2020. I don't know. We'll have to see what Ford wants to do, but still a slick shifting transmission. I'll compare it again. Is it as good as the Tremec? No, but it's not horrible. And I know that there's been a lot of chatter online about people bending shift forks and you know the barbecue ticking thing with the engine. I haven't personally experienced any of that, and I don't know anybody that has a Mustang, which I do have a couple friends that have Mustangs, they haven't had any issues. So it's one of those things that, is it every single vehicle? Of course not. Could it be one that you buy? Maybe. I still say, hey, pull the trigger. If you've waited for a Mustang GT, now is a great time because, especially if you like performance, and if your performance, you like to experience it on the twisty bits, this Performance Pack 2, unbelievable. Remember, that Magna Ride feels good when you're driving down the road. When you turn up the wick, it gives everything the proper amount of compression and rebound and dampening to help you cut through those turns like a hot knife through butter. And then, of course, you got four steamrollers. You got four 305s at all corners, cup two tires. Not gonna last very long, but boy, do they stick super well right, let me go ahead and go into this left hand bend nice and easy coming through rolling on throttle she sticks you just give it more and more coming out of the turn just sticks so nicely the car just does exactly what you want it to and it has a nice balance to it and i think a lot of it goes into play with how they stiffen up the chassis underneath the floorboard you can't see it unless you get underneath the car is a k-brace the reason why they call it a K-brace is that it's shaped in the form of the letter K, a capital K. And what that is doing is it's stiffening up the whole chassis from front to rear to give you that better feel as you're going through the twisty bits of a road course. And that's what you want to be able to feel and experience is a car that you are more connected to. As these cars roll up here, we'll go ahead and give it another spin. First gear, and the second, very nice. Brakes feel great, steering input is great. Gotta be careful of the traffic. Rolling on out. That's the great thing about this car is that when you turn up the wick, she goes, but she's also very easy to navigate and drive when you are just doing your daily business on the streets around where you live. I wish we were a little closer to some twisty roads in Mexico, but I'm trying to give you the best feel that I can based on what is available to us on the Radies Rides Loop, as I like to call it, from Walker Fort. Let me slow down a little bit here, get a little bit of space from that car in front of us. Second gear, I'm gonna accelerate a little bit on the brakes, tip it in, very nice, coming all the way through, all the way. Very nice, all the way up to red line as you saw. So one of those things that this car will surprise you. It's a little bit different than the Chevy Camaro because with the quad cams, 
it revs up a lot quicker than the pushrod V8 in that Chevy Camaro. And wait until we get into the GT350, it's even more so than that. I mean, uh, the way that that flat plane crank just spins up, it's unbelievable. But we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up and get back to Walker Ford. So we'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been another magical, wonderful day here at Walker Ford. How can I not be happy and feel so blessed to be around amazing Ford products like these two? Got to give a huge shout out to Weston Walker, Frank Walker, Tracy, Benji, Austin. Everybody here is so accommodating to Radies Rise. Jason, everybody's so accommodating. If these are the types of things that you like to see on Radies Rise, these comparisons between the Performance Pack Level 2 and the GT350, leave a comment in that comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. Check out all my different forms of social media. If you want to help support the channel, and we do appreciate your support, and you want some merch, click the link in the description. It takes you right to Spreadshirt. We got to give it up to Big Guns McGee, Tom Motioner. He's fighting the traffic. He's fighting the crowd. He's fighting. He's fighting for Radies Rides. So thank you, Tom. Check him out on Instagram, at Photos. And just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.